Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Software Engineer K here, and today we're going to be looking at NEM and specifically Symbol. So, uh, Symbol is the new crypto that's being airdropped by the uh, NEM company, and you can see here that they've released a tweet, two more days to go. They've just recently had their snapshot period, so well done for those of you who got into that. And we're just going to be covering um, why NEM, I believe, is actually quite um, underrated, um, and as a software engineer, why I think NEM is set to the well specifically NEM as a company is set to explode. I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna comment too much on why I believe the uh, the price of NEM, how that's gonna move, because again, there's a lot of traders and you know speculators out there. This isn't the point of the channel. The point of the channel is just to provide to you pure unbiased information from my um i guess my position as a software developer and someone who may use the product so if we go to um nem's github so this is just their open source code um so you can see here uh, nem tech and they've got the uh, link to the symbol platform as well as the documentation so here we can just have a look so symbol is built for developers and i'm just gonna have a quick read through here so what i quite like is symbol uses familiar apis um i'll touch on that in a second so you can interface with your existing platforms this means you can create a variety of architectural solutions with light code efficiently in any programming language i like how they've um put in bold API, familiar APIs and any programming language because anyone who is a software developer in the crypto space, they can tell you that a lot of the tooling out there, um, or I guess a lot of the legacy tooling, like if you're working with um, Ethereum, for example, um, it's not the most user-friendly for developers. Um, so just put that in perspective, if you're developing on the Ethereum blockchain, you have to learn Solidity. A lot of developers don't actually know Solidity or they don't really use it. Um, you know, they use your standard programming languages like C Sharp, Java, Go, etc. And I only know one developer who actually does use Solidity um, and he did coincidentally work as a blockchain developer. So anyway, there's quite a lot of cool stuff on here. Um, they've got some um, reference documentation on how to use the API. And if we go to the NEM website, so now they've got a bit more details on here on Symbol. So the launch is on 15th of March, which is tomorrow. Today's the 14th, well, it's 1 a.m. right now uh, when I'm filming this on the 14th. So this is coming out tomorrow on the 15th. So if we just scroll down, um, they have some quite useful stuff, but let's just go to Symbol from NEM. And if we have a look here, so they've got some stuff, uh, video, um, some more stuff on the main net launch. So right here now, um, snapshots done, main, la uh, main net launch on the 15th. And if we have a look at this tab here for developers, now, um, if we go on the symbol documentation, now any software developer will tell you, you can usually judge how good a project is by um, how good the documentation is. And I just want to make this really clear. So um, part of the reason why um, I personally don't actually hold any NEM, um, but part of the reason why I see this as a very, very bullish pro uh, project is we've gone through this phase of cryptocurrency where we initially had the proof of concept. So Bitcoin was built as a proof of concept to prove that you don't need a bank to um, transact with someone. You can do it in a decentralized way, but it was never built with the concept of, you know, working in a scalable way for mass adoption. That's just not how it was built. It was built as a proof of concept. But as a result, we had, um, you know, further iterations of Bitcoin, um, of the Bitcoin network. We have more cryptos that are designed for for mass adoption and scalability for the transactions uh, for example XRP Litecoin um, but now we've kind of shifted from that phase of you know proof of concept to um, you know uh, market adoption to now I, w I would describe as um, adoption and development for the mass market uh, specifically for integration into businesses that's where we're moving towards now and uh, NEM they've kind of taken that and integrated it into their platform they've kind of designed their business around it so they've designed um, you know the ability for you to integrate their technology their blockchain tech um, for 
people who already have, you know, companies um, and they've made it so that you can do it in a very simple way. And so if we have a look here, they've actually got a whole getting started um, section. And if we go to setting up your workstation, for example, um, they've just explained how to um, interface with their APIs, how you can set up their um, command line interface, for example. And, you know, they explain to you, you know, the documentation is really, really good. Um, even if you're not a developer, I would just say, you know, read through it and you'll probably be able to understand a lot of it. Um, so they say, you know, you can choose a programming language, TypeScript, Java, Java so JavaScript, Java, um, different ways of installing the CLI. And yeah, they even have a tutorial on how to write your first application. So it's probably going to be how to uh, interface with the API, probably uh, monitoring the blockchain, da, da, da. So yeah, anyway, there's a lot of guides on here, um, quite a lot of stuff. Um, anyone who's a developer, you know, they're, they're, they'll probably be able to explain, or I guess uh, they'll probably be more into understanding this from a technical perspective. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to highlight. So I think, you know, Symbol, um, great project. Um, it's going to really push this uh, mass market adoption of cryptocurrencies and companies kind of being able to integrate blockchain tech because at the end of the day, that is where we're kind of heading now is yes, cryptocurrencies are cool um, for, you know, people want to trade it. They've, some of them ha do have some pretty decent projects underlying them, but what's really going to be, you know, gaining traction now, what's really going to be, you know, driving the future forward is integrating the underlying blockchain technology into existing companies so um, that's essentially what symbols providing is the option for companies to you know integrate you know smart contracts these decentralized applications um, use existing um, blockchain tech and just apply it to their existing tech stack so yeah, that's pretty much all I want to go through, guys. Do have a look on this. I will link this below in the description. But thanks so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.